this is the sort of Sealy Swan area. So the Clearwater River goes that way. Yeah, this is the Lola National Forest, the Sealy the Sealy Lake Ranger District. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Gerard Grove, first of all. Most of the trees here are western larch, which is the most fire resistant tree in the northern Rockies, okay. if not the west. It has tremendously thick bark. Um, it has it self prunes, so as it, as it grows, the, the branches can get burned off. It also is a deciduous conifer, which is really unique. So it regrows its needles every year, which is, we walk past some. Um, you can see it greening up right now, which mm -hmm. is really nice. So this is the western larch needles just coming out in their spring green attire. <laughs> and these will turn just so beautiful golden in, in October. Because you get that, that really emerald green in the spring and then in about October you get a really nice fall colors. This is a, this is a classic sort of post-burn western larch here. Um, I guess as the flame links this, that during the 2003 prescribed fire, um, this may have gotten up a little bit higher than they were than they were wanting. But this is this is perfectly natural. You can actually see, you know, how thick the bark is in here. Um, you can see how the fire burns up and, and will scar some of the tissues. Mm -hmm. And when that happens repeatedly, it creates this these uh, fire scars. And you can go and cut cut into the tree and count the fire scars and date them and then you know the frequency of the fire hmm. which is really cool I, I mean it to me it's the way that the the tree tells us the story of the fire it tells us a story about the landscape in fact yeah this um i mean i don't know uh you know, specifically again um, this particular tree i don't know how old it is my guess it's got to be around 800 years old um you know and i well here's one of the, the interesting things about larch and when i when i sort of tell the story of these large trees, you know, you talk about how resistant the adults are to fire and mm -hmm. that they can withstand fire. In fact, they depend on that, that sort of recurring fire. But to get them to regenerate as, as from seed, they require a bit of a hot fire. So to, to get the babies to regenerate, they, they require mineral soil that, that's burned down. So burned through the litter, leaf litter, produce, you know, exposing mineral soil. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get a lot of, of baby larch. Mm -hmm. And then as adults, they tolerate fire really well. So this is the this is the famous big Gus thousand year old uh, western larch, the presumed largest uh, western larch in the world, um, and it kind of is the icon of uh, of of the the way that these forests may have grown in here. Um, and, and again, the fire scars here; these are what we call cat faces, which as fires and historically would have recurrently burned uh, every 10, 15, 30 years, uh, producing those fire scars. Um, again, the way I tell the way, I've already said this, but the way I tell the story is that, um, you know, they, they tell us, this, they, these trees tell us the story of fire's role in the, in the forest. Mm -hmm. And 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 the, the story that they told gave us the, the prescription on what to do and what to do here and trying to restore the, the, the forest, the relationship that forest had with the fire here. Hmm. Um, and so, I mean, if you just look out, if you would have been here 15, 20 years ago, there would have been a whole lot of, you know, smaller trees throughout here. Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't even have gotten a sense of the, of this big, uh, the open larch sort of park-like uh, uh, condition here. A friend of mine uh, said, you know, the value of a thousand-year-old tree is it takes a thousand years to grow. Mm -hmm. And so, you know... You don't. You can't just produce those. It's not something that, that humans can generate at all. Mm -hmm. They're extremely rare in the landscape. Some trees this old. I mean, you think about Lewis and Clark when they came out here you know, a little over 200 years ago. They didn't come too far from here. This tree was 800 years old when they came through. Mm -hmm. um, so they're extremely precious. You know, I mean, it's the there's there's just a bit of a value in them, and that they are sold. There's they, they're sort of beyond 
in some ways, um, you know, not beyond human comprehension, but they they sort of connect us to deep time, mm -hmm. um, not like geology does, but but uh, it's pretty compelling to to think how. Um, you know, just the stories of what was happening a thousand years ago. That's <laughs> neat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> okay. You never Thank know you. when they are. Yeah. A thousand years old. Oh, isn't that amazing? That's a sun <laughs>